here on Lake Martin 2017 ASA BFA state qualifier. This is our first qualifier. My name's Shane Mantle. I'm tournament director as well as the marketing director. It's amazing. These kids, they love to, they love to catch these fish, uh, bring them up on the stage, putting them out in front of their, their parents, their grandparents, friends. It makes a sort of a star out of them. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, there. Just gives you an adrenaline rush. It's amazing. It's like a memory, really. We started this about uh, eight years ago. And uh, when we started this, there was just a handful of teams. We got over 2,000 members now that fish with ASA BFA. These are very expensive tournaments to put on. We're sponsored like Go Build. This is what makes this possible. A tournament trail normally pays out cash prizes. We pay out scholarships. And Go Build and the companies like that is what makes that possible. The mission of Go Build Alabama is to educate young people, parents, and others into the great careers that are available in the commercial and industrial construction industry, and then to inspire them to uh, move forward and start their own construction career path. These are not jobs that will export out of the country, so this is a magnificent time for young people and others that might be considering career change to think about construction careers. We really stepped up this year and able to uh, bring in three more scholarships. Uh, starting off with our first place boat's going to be getting a $2,000 scholarship, which will be split between the two anglers. Back when I got into fishing pro stuff, there wasn't anything like this, so uh, sponsoring things like this, you're really pushing those kids to do more. At Go Build Alabama, we really are excited about this sponsorship because this gives us an opportunity to talk to students, support them in one of their extracurricular activities, and help inspire them to maybe consider a career in the construction industry. You know exactly where you want to be. On the water with your best friend. You two out there just casting and catching. Out on the water is a great place to make memories that'll last. But uh, we can't help it if your kid's a better fisherman. Visit Freedom Marine Center, Highway 431 in Albertville, and freedommarinecenter.net. When considering Maslow's hierarchy of needs, one must first figure the basic level of it. So essentially what Maslow was saying is that uh, from the basic level, what are we doing here? Look at that beauty right there. Shelter in warmth. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. 
What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. Very glad to have y'all fishing with us today. Looking for some great weights coming in. Finally got a beautiful day. Uh, glad to have uh, the sunshine out. No rain today, so it's been a very good blessing that we've got. In just a minute, we're going to bring people up to the stage here and get the junior division kicked off. we got a few already in the uh, tank ready to come up, so we'll be going here in just a moment. I do have a couple sponsors here that uh, we want to make you aware of. Go Build Alabama is back with us again this year. Uh, he is on the way to the stage. I'm going to give him just a minute to uh, speak to us. As I've been a career tech teacher for uh, right at 30 years. I'm telling you, there's not anything better going on right now that we got in the state than the people that are look, working with Go Build Alabama, and we're very, very pleased to be a part of that relationship with Go Build Alabama. If you're new this year or juniors divisions coming in, then some of you got some sixth graders that just came up. Uh, I'm going to let him tell you a little bit, but there's a website they have, tremendous resource. Going to college, you can do post-secondary uh, career tech colleges. One of the things we're very, very pleased to bring into play this year, we're adding a $1,000 scholarship that will be directly to career technical schools. So our seniors will be eligible for that. Very, very happy to bring that as part of our sponsorship uh, and to our seniors give another opportunity. We've got some great sponsors um, out there. I'm going to turn the mic over here to Mr. Gobield, let him introduce himself, tell you a little bit about them, take a few minutes, visit their website, like them on Facebook, Instagram, uh, great people to be associated with. Good to have you on board. Glad to see you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, first off, thank y'all for letting us come and sponsor this again. We love this event. Uh, is everybody doing all right? First and foremost, everybody, everybody good? Yeah? Yeah? All right, good. I'll keep it brief because I know we got to get this going. Uh, I'm at the table right there by the banner uh, if y'all want to come talk to me. Uh, as a matter of fact, anyone who has family members in construction, please come and tell me just more about that, especially if they were a part of building this great city back in the day. I love hearing stories like that. I absolutely love the history of things of that nature. So y'all come talk to me. We'll talk about the skilled trades. Let's, let's get something happening. Just come visit me. Just come talk to me. I don't bite. Uh, I'm not a scary person. So that's it. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Glad to have you associated with us again. It's just, I cannot uh, emphasize enough how important it is that we are, we're doing a tremendous shortage here in Alabama, really across the nation, but a big shortage of uh, skilled workers, high, high demand. Uh, I taught welding for many years. Uh, one student came back last year, showed me his pay stub. He worked 10 months last year, still made $150,000. You can do well without that college four, six, eight year degree two years or intern type process or right out of high school, you can find some great jobs. We're very proud to have a Go Build back with us. I'm going to turn it over to Chase, but again, welcome. Glad to have y'all fishing with ASA BFA. There are a lot of different uh, organizations out there. We're proud that you chose to fish with us. I hope everything that we say and do is a positive reflection and uh, reflects well on your young men and women that's fishing with us. Glad to have you. Thank you. Thank you, Barry. I'd like to uh, <clears throat> thank Alexander City for having us on, uh, hosting us here today in the state park. This is a great place to have a fishing tournament, and so we, you know, we appreciate all they've done to accommodate us in this event. Really quick, before we get started, I want to have a quick word of prayer, and then we'll hop right in and get these anglers up on the, uh, up on the stage. God, we thank you for today, Lord. We thank you for all of our time together, and Lord, I just pray that as we leave this place, Lord, that we would remain safe. And God, I pray for a bountiful catch will come across this stage, Lord. And I just pray that there will be sportsmanship and that in all we do, we glorify you. We thank you for your salvation in your holy name. Amen. All righty. I got Miss Connie over here. She's going to introduce your anglers for you. Real quick, I'm going to hop through a couple of sponsors, and then we'll get this going. Uh, as Barry's already mentioned, Go Build is here. Please go see them. They, they do a lot for this tournament trail. So and they have a great thing going over there, so please go see them. Uh, Phoenix Boats, Alabama Power, 
and Shimano, the official reel of the ASA BFA. And we'll go through a few more as we go on, but I'm going to go ahead and get some of these anglers up here. All right, can you hear me? I can. All right, we're going to start off with Smith Station today. This is boat number 22. They have one fish. Let's welcome to the stage Ben Holland and Caden Williams. All righty, let's see this fish. Y'all come on over here, guys. We got one fish, four. 1.78 pounds. Good job, guys, and thank you all for fishing with us. Quick little announcement here also. Uh, we are taking pictures. They will be on our Facebook site. Uh, some will be on the website. But if you'll stay behind these yellow lines over there, you'll have an opportunity after we take our pictures to get you pictures in there. So make your way to the front and get your pictures on that side. We want to do it as quickly as we can so we can get the fish back in the water. Thanks for your help. Right, the next boat is boat number 23. They have five fish. They're from Oakman Middle School. This is Cade Hartley and Gage Gant. Five fish limit. And that's good for a big bite baits, five fish. Five fish for 6.81 pounds. Let's get a couple of them out of the bag and hold them up. That is your new leader for the junior division. Looks like they got a mixed bag too, spots and largemouth. Alrighty, that's a pretty good bag to kick this tournament off. What do y'all what did y'all do today? Do a deep crankbait. A deep crankbait. Deep crankbait always works in muddy water. Well we appreciate y'all coming out and fishing with us. Thank you. Boat twenties up next. They're from Ufala High School. Welcome Austin Sawyer and Levi Sales. They have one fish. You follow. One fish for 1.20 pounds. Thank you guys for fishing with us. Real quick, we've got a fish loose in the tank, so we're going to try to get that squared away. Uh, I'm going to go through a couple more of our sponsors while we got the, a little break. Uh, Freedom Marine, they've, all, they've been with us for a very long time. Please go out and support them. They, uh, <clears throat> they give away a scholarship at the end of each one of our events. Hammer Rods, which is the official rod of the ASA BFA. Frog Togs, Kusa Cotton, The Loft at Bucks Marine, Power Pro and G Loomis are newly added sponsors for this year. Amphibia Eyewear, Ingle Coolers, Big Bite Baits. As I mentioned earlier, we give away Big Bite Baits for if the uh, anglers catch a five fish limit. So we've already given away a couple of those. Prime One Camo, E3 Sports Apparel, Bomb and Metals, and The Leash. We mentioned The Leash. Uh, last night at the pre-tournament meeting if you were there if you don't know about that please come see one of us and we'd be glad to tell you more about just you know how that can go pretty far and uh as far as our as far as safety of your kids okay up next von mont bass club is boat number 26 they have a limit today chase this is bradley johnson and gavin ray this will be another big bite baits limit Come on over here. That limit's going to be 8.20 pounds. Good job, guys. Why don't you pull a couple of them out of there? That is a new leader for this tournament. Pretty good size spotted bass, too. Hold them up loud and proud here. Yeah, 
Real quick, I want to ask you a quick question. So what did you all do today to catch those fish? Uh, we, we fished with the Carolina rig and uh, what was it? I can't remember the other one. So you just caught them. You don't know what you caught them on, but you caught them. Well, all right. Well, we crankbait. Okay, that seems like it's going to be popular today. Well, thank you all for fishing with us, guys. Eufaula High School is next. They're boat number 28. They have one fish. This is Kurt McGuire and Dylan Dunnigan. Another Eufaula boat. One point zero seven pounds. Good job, guys. Thank y'all for fishing with us. Boat number seventeen from Smith Station. Ian Fryer and Evan Owens with one fish. One fish four. One point zero six pounds. Good job, guys. Thank y'all for fishing with us. From Boaz High School, boat number 14. This is Carter Maples and Garrett Gerard. They have three fish. Three fish from Boaz. Let's see what you got, guys. Three fish, four. Well, they're definitely alive. 3.4 pounds. Good job, guys. With Tufka High School's coming up next, and they have a full bag. This is boat number seven. This is Cade Key and Blake Smith. A full bag. That's good for big bite baits. Let's see what this full bag weighs. 5.12 pounds. Good job, guys. Thank you all for fishing with us. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. They got. They want to weigh a big fish. Well, let's see it. All right. Their big fish weighs 1.47 pounds. It's a good spotted bass. Thank you, guys. Another limit, boat 24 from Odenville Bass Club. This is Hannah Hollies and Brooklyn Isbell. If I remember correctly, I think that you did very well in the junior division tournament last year. Limits are going to be popular today. This looks like a good bag. Boat 24, 7.86 pounds. That's a good bag. Good job. Thank you all for fishing with us. Boat 53 is up next. They're from Liberty Park Middle. This is Sam Wyndham and Ben Stallworth. They have one fish. Come on up here. One fish. Let's see what it weighs. 0.69 pounds. Good job, guys. Thank you all for fishing with us. Boat number 38 is next from Smith Station. This is Kyle Knotts, Jaden Sanford with one fish. Come on up here. One fish, four, point eight three pounds. Good job, guys. Thank you all for fishing with ASABFA. One of our new schools, this is Stanhope Elmore, boat number 40, Walker Nelson, and he has one fish. Come on up here. First tournament with ASA BFA. Well, we hope you enjoyed it. 1.02 pounds. Good job. Thank you for fishing with us. Boat number 33 is also from Stan Hope Elmore. This is Garrett Ogletree and Caleb Weaver with one fish, I believe. Is that right? Two? Two fish. Two fish. Come on over here. Y'all come on this side. Let's see, two fish for 2.18 pounds. Good job, guys. Thank y'all for fishing with us, and we're excited to have y'all with ASA BFA. All right, you're good. Up 
next is boat number two. They're from Alabama Christian. This is Cole Henry, Shelby Bryant, and they have one fish. Come on over here. Come on this side. Let's see what this one fish weighs. 0.94 pounds. Good job. Sorry, my assistant's trying to learn his job. <laughs> Thought okay. if I embarrassed it's him okay. on, on live feed that maybe he would do better. <laughs> <laughs> Boat number 49 is from Alabama Christian. This is J.T. Lambert and Jake Davenport. They have two fish. Come on up here. Let's see what these fish weigh. Two fish, four, 1.45 pounds. Oh, hey, come on. Don't, don't dog them. I mean, hey, look, they, 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 they've, duck it, they've sticked it out with you all day. Thank you for fishing with us. Alabama Christian again, boat number 47. Hayes Finch, Jake Hunt with two fish. Let's see them. We got two fish for 3.414 pounds. 3.14. Thank you guys for fishing with us. Boat number 52 is from Briarwood. Christian. This is Brady McCormick, Griffin Albright, and they have three fish. Come on up here. Let's see what these three fish weigh. And they also want to weigh big fish. 4.42 pounds. All right, y'all get it out of there and let's see what it weighs. I want to brag on these juniors today. This is our biggest junior division tournament we've had with ASABFA, so a lot of these guys have stuck it out in the cold weather, so we appreciate them fishing with us. The big fish is 1.92 pounds. Yes, that is a new leader. Good job, guys. We've got a limit coming. Another this limit. This is number 39 from Oakman Middle School, Camden Williams, Will Woods. Boat number 39, come on over here. Let's see what these fish weigh. 5.08 pounds. Good job, guys. That's a big bite baits limit. Thank you all for fishing with us. Oakman brought a lot of a lot of teams today. It's great. Boat number 34. They're from Oakman Middle School. They have one fish. This is Riley Blackwell and Carter Tisdall. Let's see what this fish weighs. One fish for 0.81 pounds. Good job, guys. Thank you all for fishing with us. We appreciate Oakman having such a good showing today. The next school, Benjamin Russell, hometown boys, boat number 18, Davis Barnett and Jackson Fuller, and they have a limit. This is not only a limit, this is a really good limit. Let's see what it weighs. Hey, they don't know what it weighs. Let's see. 8.12 pounds. That's a good bag of fish. They want to weigh a big fish. Absolutely. Pretty good when all of them are about the same size, having a hard time choosing which one they want. I think that's a good one. A big fish for 1.87 pounds. Good job, guys. Thank you all for fishing with us. Do another limit, okay? Another limit sounds great. Yeah, from ACA, boat number 15, this is Ethan Gardner and Logan Reynolds. Sounds like y'all got a following here. This is a five fish limit, and it's a pretty good one. Oh, it's definitely a good one. Good for first place. 10.70 pounds. All right. They definitely want to weigh a big fish. 
Let's get one out of here and weigh it. I'm going to get you all to hold some of them fish up, too, in just a second. And then I'm going to pester you about what you caught them on. Woo, that's a good spotted bass. Let's see what it weighs. 2.92 pounds. That will take big fish as well. All right, hold a couple of them up for the camera here. Good job. Good Lake Martin spotted bass. All righty, we're going to get those fish back in the water, but don't run off because I, I got a, a couple of questions for you. All righty, so you going to share your secrets? Sure. All right, what, well, what are your secrets? What did you catch them on today? Shaky head and a crankbait. Shaky head and crankbait. Is this an early morning bite, or is it, did it just happen all day? Or It was basically just a mixture of both. A mixture of both. Well, hey, we like catching them all day, and we like catching them big. Good job, guys. Thank you all for fishing with us. Thompson High School's next. They have four fish. This is boat number 10, Caleb Edwards, Alex Tucker. Come on up here. Let's see what these fish weigh. Four fish, four, 4.70 pounds. Good job, guys. Thank you all for fishing with us. Oh, they want to weigh a big fish, absolutely. A good Lake Martin spotted bass. 1.65 pounds. Good job, y'all. We're ready. East Limestone. They have a limit, Chase. Another limit. This is boat number 37, Mason Martin and Grant Rainey. It looks like a pretty good limit, too. Let's see how much it weighs. A five fish limit for 6.42 pounds. Good job, guys. Thank y'all for fishing with us. Oh, they want to weigh a big fish. Absolutely. That's a pretty good sized fish, too. 1.58 pounds. Good job, guys. You know, Chase, we need help from this crowd. What do you think? Yeah, I think so, too. We need some cheering, guys. These boys are about asleep, and they're starving to death. Y'all, please welcome them as we call their names to the stage. This is boat number 44. They have a limit. This is Brody Hartley and Eli Kilgore. Some more Oakman boys, and this looks like a pretty good bag right here. Their bag is 6.88 pounds. Good job, guys. Thank you all for fishing with us. I can testify. They're definitely, they, I saw them go through the line this morning. They're not only sleepy, but they were freezing this morning. Yeah. So they really battled it out. Yeah, we got to help them out all we can. Let's welcome Arab High School, the oh, fishing Hey, wait, 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 we got a big fish all right, way in here. All right, hold up. And that's a good thing, though. We always want to weigh big fish. That means this lake's producing, and we love to show the crowd big fish. A big fish is 1.62 pounds. Thank you guys for fishing with us. All righty, let's try this again. Try to get to do it again. All right, Arab High School Fishing Nights. This is Boat 21. This is Grayson Smith, Carolina Justice. They have two fish. Two fish. We'll bring them on up here. Let's see them. Four fish. Come on over here. Two fish, four. 2.13 pounds. Thank you all for fishing with us. That's a good bag. From Fayetteville, this is boat number 32. They have four fish. This is Alex Barnett and Davis Ray. You staying on Ashley over there? Yes, I'm still giving him a hard time. Come on up here. Let's see what these fish weigh. Bag is 5.42 pounds. Good job, guys. Thank you all for fishing with us. We've had a lot of five-pound bags. This is a good day on Martin for it to be so cold. 
from Odenville Bass Club. This is boat number 27. They have three fish. Let's welcome Hunter Brudges and Ty Gulledge. Let's see them. It looks like a pretty good fish in there, too. A good bag for 3.85 pounds. Good job, guys. Thank you all for fishing with us. From Muscle Shoals High School, the Trojans. This is Griffin Hunter and Kane Hallman. They have a limit today. They are boat number 46. Griffin Hunter fished his first tournament over here last year, so we, we always enjoy fishing with Griffin. And they want to weigh a big fish, absolutely. Let's see what this limit weighs. They're definitely alive. 4.25 pounds. All righty, we're going to pull out a big fish and see what it weighs. Their big fish is 1.03 pounds. Good job, guys. That's a big bite baits, five fish limit. Boat number 51 is also from Muscle Shows High School. This is Christopher Clark and Eli Jones, and they have three fish. Three fish. Come on up here, Clark and Jones. I'm not going to give you too much of a hard time. 3.30 pounds. Good job, guys. Thank y'all for fishing with us. I'm glad you woke up from this morning, though. Boat number 35 is from Fayetteville. They have the limit. This is J.B. Buttram and Brooks Turner. Another five fish limit. Well, let's see what it weighs. It looks like a pretty heavy bag, too. A five fish limit for 8.66 pounds. That's a good bag. And they want to weigh a big fish. It's always interesting to hear that, to hear them say that because I really want to see what, how big it is myself. It's a good fish for 3.03 .03 pounds, and I think that takes big fish. He's definitely alive. Hold that up for the crowd there. Let's let them see it. That's a good spotted bass here on Lake Martin. Thank you guys for fishing with us. Boat number three is next. They're from Dadeville High School. This is Eli Patterson and Logan Hamby. They have one fish. Come on up here. One fish for 1.38 pounds. Thank you guys for fishing with us. From Thompson High School, boat number 25. They have three fish. This is Alex Galloway and Jordan Wilson. Those three fish look to be pretty good ones. Let's see what they weigh, and they're definitely alive. Yeah, they're, the scale's having a hard time with these. 3.98 pounds. Good job, y'all. Thank y'all for fishing with us. Boat number nine is from Muscle Shows High School. This is Wes McDougal and Noah Grimmett. They have two fish. Another Muscle Shoals. Let's see what they got. And they want to weigh big fish. Absolutely. Two fish for 2.30 pounds. And let's see what that big fish weighs. Big fish for 1.33 pounds. Good job, y'all. Thank you for fishing with us. Horseshoe Band's going to bring a five-bagger. This is boat Ooh. number 16. This is Briar Hardy and Whit Milford. Mm, there's some thick heads in there. Let's see what they weigh. And they want to weigh big fish. All right, let's see. Five fish limit for 8.38 pounds. Good job, y'all. We're going to pull out the big fish and see what it weighs. Woo. 
lively fish coming out of Lake Martin. They've been stuck in live wells all day. They're ready to get back home. All right, let's see what it weighs. 2.22 pounds. It's a good fish. Good job, y'all. Boat number 36 is next. They have two fish. They're from Muscle Shows High School. This is Sam Letson and Riley Mifflin. I don't know either of these two boys. And they want to weigh big fish. Come on up here. Let's see it. Two fish for 2.39. All right, pull out the one you want to weigh. Don't let him stick you. Big fish for 1.37 pounds. Good job, guys. Thank y'all for fishing with us. Now go get you some sleep. Boat 41 is from Thompson High School. They have two fish. This is Carson Kendrick, Charlie Paraka. All righty, come on up here. 1.70 pounds. Good job, guys. Thank y'all for fishing with ASA BFA. We got brothers coming next. The McLemore brothers, Peyton and Troy. They're from Oakman Middle School. They're about 42, and they have four fish. The brothers. And they got a big fish. And their fish are alive and well. 5.32 pounds. All right, let's see what the big fish weighs. One point nine zero pounds. So I'm guessing the other brother's gonna give the one that didn't catch it the hard time, right? Y'all be nice to each other. Thank y'all for fishing with us. From Fayetteville, boat number nineteen. This is Kai Tubbs and Colin Rowland. They have four fish. Four fish. Let's see what they weigh. Four fish for 4.13. That's a good bag of fish. Thank you guys for fishing with us. Are it we done? It appears that we are, we at least have a break, if not all junior anglers have weighed in. We have a, it appears we have a bunch. While we have a break right here, I'm going to go back over our sponsors in case you showed up. If you're just now coming over here, I want to really, a really quick mention again. The Go Build tent is directly in the middle of the uh, staging area, right behind the bleachers. He's got him a table set up. Please go see him. He is. They are our title sponsor, and they do a lot for ASA BFA, and they have a great thing going on over there. So please go check them out. Also, we'd like to thank Phoenix Boats, Alabama Power, Shimano. Freedom Marine, and again, I mentioned they give away a scholarship at the end of each one of our events, So, and they've been with us for a very long time, so we thank them for all that they do. Hammer Rods, Frog Togs, Coosa Cotton, The Loft at Bucks Marine, Power Pro Line, and G. Loomis are new sponsors for this, uh, this tournament season. Amphibia Eyewear, Ingle Coolers, Big Bite Baits, we've already given away several of those for this tournament for five fish limits. Prime One Camo, E3 Sports Apparel, Bomb and Metals, and The Leash. We thank all of our sponsors that we could not do what we do without them. So please su help us support our sponsors because they are a prime reason why we're able to put these events on.
I'm Barry Corbin with the ASA BFA. I want to touch base uh, with you on, uh, tell you, I'm glad that you're on Facebook Live. Watch us. Let your friends know that we're out there. We'll tell you about a couple of our sponsors. We got back again this year, Shimano. Great rods and reels that they have with us. With the Shimano line, they have several different things. We've added this year the Pro uh, line, Power Pro line with Shimano, as well as the G Luma. So we're very pleased to have all those on board with us. While I'm here, if you know, if you've been in Alabama for any time in the last month or so, you know that uh, rain gear is very, very happy, uh, uh, useful piece of equipment to have. So I got frog togs on, go to their site. Those that fish with us and have an opportunity to get a discount code, they can go on to their website, use our discount code, and uh, be able to buy at a reduced price. Very good product, very glad to have frog togs back on with us as well as Coosa Cotton, the same situation with them. Coosa Cotton is some of the finest apparel out there. They've got a discount code for that, so if you're interested in some great uh, hats and clothing, lures, uh, they got some uh, great jigs out there as well. Let us know, we can get you the uh, code for a discount on that. Glad to have these fine sponsors on board with us. Thank you. Is everybody ready for this senior division? There you go, Papa. Good job. Hey, we're ready for them to come in. We're going to get this junior division. This is the biggest junior tournament we've had to date. Uh, and we are growing and growing. Uh, and we're excited about that. And uh, But our junior division, we're going to get that cleared up. We're going to get them uh, the champions named. And then we're going to jump right into it. We're going to get these senior division up here. A kayak has been found. All right. Uh, we had a kayak, a $7,000 kayak, get away from a man in one of the creeks over here. We were going to do some ads for him, but he found it. So that was good. Uh, one of our fishermen actually found him and told him where to go to look for it. But the Ohio water got that kayak and took it down the river a little ways, but we found it for him. So uh, we're thankful for that. Like I said, we're excited to be here in Alexander City, Alabama. And we are going to get these kids up here, and we're going to let them uh, weigh in fish. But we're going to also think about those that didn't catch fish today because not everybody was, uh, was lucky enough to do that. So uh, we want to make sure that we remember those, uh, those anglers as well. Uh, we're really close, and, uh, and we're going to get these guys coming up on the stage in just a minute. Thank you, Curtis. Again, while we have a minute, please go to see our Go Build tent. We have their uh, set up directly in the middle, right behind our the bleachers. Please go check them out. They're our title sponsor, and we're also selling uh, ASABFA caps for twenty dollars, right over here by where Miss Betty is.
we almost came to the world. Okay, you're good. I just had this other note. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to get Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's overall been just kind of a, a slow process today. Even the, even the launch is slow. The results are almost calculated, and while we're waiting here, I'm going to mention a couple more of our sponsors. Uh, Phoenix Boats, they've been with us for a while. Outbound Power has as well. Shimano, they've been with, with us for a few years as well. And they're the official reel of the ASA BFA. Also, Freedom Marine, Hammer Rods and Frog Togs, Kusa Cotton, The Loft at Bucks Marine, Power Pro Line, and G Loomis. Both of those are new sponsors to us this year. Amphibia Eyewear, Ingle Coolers, Big Bite Baits. In case you missed the junior division weigh-in, we have been giving away uh, Big Bite Baits for every limit call. And we've had several, so there's been plenty of Big Bite Baits already given out. Prime One Camo, E3 Sports Apparel, Bomb and Metals. They've been with us for a few years as well. And The Leash. So we thank all of our sponsors for supporting us and what and these events that we put on. What time is it? You know? Immediately after our results for the junior division weigh-in, we're going to have a short break before the senior division, and then, uh, then we'll hop right into that as well. Also, on the uh, ASA BFA caps, we can take credit cards on those as well. So don't let that be a reason you don't want to come over here and check those out. What's the, is the big fish a 3.03? Oh, you're good. You're good. That does. All righty. I think we're ready to, to get these uh, anglers back up here to give them some awards. All righty, we're going to go ahead and begin. We have third place. They get uh, two $60 gift cards to Coosa Cotton, and they are from Horseshoe Bend, Briar Hardy, and Whit Milford with a weight of 8.38 pounds and a five fish limit.
Good job, guys. Thank you all for fishing with us. All righty. Second place gets a Shimano reel, and they are from Fayetteville, J.B. Buttram and Brooks Turner. And they had a five fish limit for 8.66 pounds. All righty, first place gets two hammer rods, and they are from Alabama Christian Fishing Team, Ethan Gardner and Logan Reynolds, and they have five fish for 10.70 pounds. An all-day bite. All righty, we got, let's see, we've got one more award to give here today. All righty, they've already taken home some hardware today, but one of them, I don't know who caught the fish, but from Fayetteville, J.B. Buttram or Brooks Turner, who caught it? There are you. <laughs> J.B. Buttram caught it. It was a good spotted bass for 3.03 .03 pounds. Congratulations, guys. Again, we thank all the juniors for coming out and fishing our tournament. We had our biggest junior division event for the year, I mean, for, uh, for ASA BFA's history. So we appreciate all of y'all battling the cold out here today. Uh, that's going to do it for me, and I'm going to turn the mic over to Curtis. All right, guys, we're going to have to take about a three-minute break. We're going to stop the junior uh, division and them recording that, and then after the three-minute break, we're going to come back, and uh, we're going to get started with the senior division. They won't go anywhere. Lake Martin 2017 ASA BFA state qualifier. This is our first qualifier. My name's Shane Mantle. I'm tournament director as well as the marketing director. It's amazing. These kids, they love to, they love to catch these fish, uh, bring them up on the stage, putting them out in front of their, their parents, their grandparents, friends. It makes a sort of a star out of them. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, like, <laughs> this gives them adrenaline rush. It's amazing. It's oh like they really, really we started this about uh, eight years ago, and uh, when we started this, there was just a handful of teams. We got over 2,000 members now that fish with ASA BFA. These are very expensive tournaments to put on. 
With sponsors like Go Build, this is what makes this possible. A tournament trail normally pays out cash prizes. We pay out scholarships, and Go Build and the companies like that is what makes that possible. The mission of Go Build Alabama is to educate young people, parents, and others into the great careers that are available in the commercial and industrial construction industry, and then to inspire them to uh, move forward and start their own construction career path. These are not jobs that will export out of the country. So this is a magnificent time for young people and others that might be considering career change to think about construction careers. We really stepped up this year and able to uh, bring in three more scholarships. Uh, starting off with our first place boat's gonna be getting a $2,000 scholarship, which will be split between the two anglers. Back when I got into fishing pro stuff, there wasn't anything like this. So uh, sponsoring things like this, you're really pushing those kids to do more. At Go Build Alabama, we really are excited about this sponsorship because this gives us an opportunity to talk to students, support them in one of their extracurricular activities, and help inspire them to maybe consider a career in the construction industry. You know exactly where you want to be. On the water with your best friend. You two out there just casting and catching. Out on the water is a great place to make memories that'll last. But uh, we can't help it if your kid's a better fisherman. Visit Freedom Marine Center, Highway 431 in Albertville, and freedommarinecenter.net. When considering Maslow's hierarchy of needs, one must first figure the basic level of it. So essentially what Maslow was saying is that uh, from the basic level, what are we doing here? Look at that beauty right there. Shelter in warmth. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious.